Hi everyone, I'm super excited to be doing yet another Lazy Girl Crochet video and today is with an absolutely no leave out. I was just doing a quick lymph check because I got my ends trimmed and now I'm going ahead and doing my deep curved left side part, the usual, and I'm just separating my hair to go ahead and do my plaits. The first part of this video really doesn't change aside from doing plaits all the way around instead of leaving half your hair out and I almost forgot to add my oil to my scalp and the strands to keep my hair moisturized under my protective style. And then like I said, I'm just going to braid down. Nothing about the foundation aside from everything being braided up has changed. If you have fresh ends like I did, it'll be hard for your plaits to stay in place, so you will have to add a clip to the end. And that's why I see me making that face because I realized that they were all gonna unravel on me. Then in the middle of my braid, I realized that if I use beeswax, it'll seal my ends. Y'all, this stuff is no joke and it's so sticky. You're gonna see me making another face every time I do it because it feels so icky, but it works so well. Quick tidbit while I'm finishing up this braid down, I know you all were asking whether this hair or this method will hold up in water while swimming. So I'm going to upload a quick wash day routine or post swimming routine for crochet with the lazy girl method and with this particular hair by the end of the week. So stay tuned for that. Then to secure my under braids, I'm using a bent bobby pin and I just bend it for added comfort and it just flexes better to the head. I always bend my bobby pins and just wrap your braids up and secure it that way or you could sew it down like I did in the very first lazy crochet video. And then I'm reusing my model model crochet cap with the combs in it for added security. This is the hair that I use. It's Outre's Deep Twist in 14 inches. And it's the four in one loop crochet. So it has four pieces or four strands in one loop. And then finally, before starting to add hair, I'm just marking off where my parting space is with a white eyeliner pencil. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. Now I'm just showing what the crochet piece looks like. And similar to the last hair that I used, it has the flexi lock. So that was great. And now I'm just adding the hair all over, just like any other crochet video that I've done. So I'm not really going to go into detail as to how I did that until I get to the top. Whenever you get to the edges of the cap, you want to make sure that you're putting the crochet hook or the crochet piece of hair both through the edge of the cap and through your hair so that it covers the line from the crochet cap. And I'm going to slow it down in this clip and put it in real time so you'll see exactly what I mean. Also, because these pieces are four in one, you want to be sure to space them out because if not, your head will be heavy, one, and two, it'll be super, super, super full. So keep in mind that you're putting in four strands as you go and you don't need to pack it in. So that's why you see me spacing it out. And then here, I'm just windowing the pieces like I do in the other videos to make sure that there's coverage all over, even with spacing it out. And the flexi lock pieces are great for tightening your pieces as you go along to make sure that they're nice and secure. And then you just want to go and fill in all around that line that you've created with the eyeliner to make sure that your top has no gaps. Once you reach your parting space, take your scissors and cut along the line that you've created with the eyeliner. But please, please, please be sure not to cut your hair because it is not worth losing over no crochet. So just be careful with doing this so that your part gets exposed and you don't lose hair in the process. Once the excess cap is gone, you just want to go in as close to your part as possible and add your pieces and continue doing this all over. And then in the next couple of clips, y'all are going to see me experiment and I didn't want to cut it out because it's all about trial and error and I was just figuring it out as I went along. I was trying to separate this piece, take the rubber band all the way off and separate it so that I can do invisible knots along the parting space. But this hair did not separate well. And when I tried to knot it, it did not work out. So it may work if you take your time doing it, but I just didn't have the patience. And the whole lazy girl concept is so that it can be quick and easy. So I'm going to show you what I ended up doing instead. But if you want to do invisible knots, feel free to take your time and do you, boo.
On this side, I added the pieces in order from back to front and that was able to create an illusion to where each piece covered the knot from the piece before it. And you just continue that pattern until you get to the very edge of your hair. So this is what it was looking like so far and then I just went through and separated the curls so that they looked more real and less synthetic and plastic and when I did this it looked so bomb like this was serving wand curls on natural hair or some human hair but it just didn't look like your typical crochet hair you'll see what I mean as I keep separating it like the bigger it got the better it got and then after that I'm gonna go through and cut a side bang and then I still wasn't liking how the parting space was looking and this is normally what I do with all of my crochet when I don't have any leave out I just flip it over and turn it into a flip over method type look and then of course smoothing the edges and then whenever you're done you just want to go through and make sure you don't need to add in any pieces anywhere else just do some filler pieces and all together I ended up using six packs of this hair super bomb <laughs> so that is the finished look I love 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 this hair and crochet hair has started to get a look but this hair like I said doesn't look like your typical crochet hair and before I forget, I'ma help y'all girls save some coins, honey. I'm listing some coupon codes both on the screen and in the description box for you all. And all of these codes are good until the end of the month. So you have a couple of more days to go ahead and use those. Check out this hair and diva trust in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.